he cooks rice in the microwave and cooks his steak to 175 degrees internal temperature. No, 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 not today, boy. A wall bang this guy ready? Maybe not. Besides the fridge, but the fridge is cheating. How do you use something more than the fridge? It's always on. So I'm talking of cooking appliances. Cooking appliance. The fridge isn't for cooking. For a rice cooker for my B-Day, best gift ever. Bro, that's how you know you're getting old. <laughs> that's how you know you're getting old. You don't want video games and Lego sets and... Shoot me with. <sighs> You're awesome, man. Love you, brother. Bro, this guy's actually in the Matrix. Dude is a fucking demon. Thank you, Wushi. The fun part of Tark. Yeah, but Tarkov is supposed to be a looter shooter, more open world type of experience. It's not like a. Uh, you know, it's not supposed to be an evenly matched, balanced, like, more closed off type of shooter. That's... I think there's, there's definitely a big difference in how you approach those things. Doesn't necessarily mean that much because it's, you know, it's a more open experience and there's larger maps and it's not... Well, it's not like uh, a competitive environment. But like a balanced environment. There's no like... You're not actually playing against people in an objective. You're not competing for an objective. I suppose is a good way to explain it. You're free to do whatever you want. There's no objective in the game. 
Whereas if we were playing Team Deathmatch or Capture the Flag, there's an objective that we're directly competing over. Competing for loot. Yes, but you don't you don't beat another player. Like you're not you're not like beating other players. You can kill other players in the game, but if you want, you can just sit and wait it out and let everyone else like do their thing and then you do your thing. There's not a time limit objective that you're directly competing over and one player doesn't win. So I think that's why the imbalance can work. I feel like that makes sense. Okay, guys, we need to all work together. Can we? You can die together. I don't know about working together. Level 22 with that loot? What the? What in the RMT is going on there? See the teleportation? What in the fuck? Joke on that guy. We be eating ass around here. The heck? He's got a pistol? What? I'm so lost. This guy ate nine million bullets. And then the other dude was APB. What in the heck kind of team is this? Machinist and Big Rig and Fried Pop Tarts. Thank you. Toaster Shrew is better than Pop Tarts. Sorry, not sorry. That's just the way it is, bro. Maybe it's kind of like the G36 and swipe. Maybe I'd actually like it. I don't know. Convenience Pop Tarts win. Wait, question. Do you guys actually put Pop Tarts in the toaster? Or do you just eat it straight up? You were slick? Huh? Oh, it was only one guy the whole time. I respect the move, but I was too quick on that one. <laughs> I was a little too quick on that, but I respect it. That was a sick move. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Thank you. Let me eat. Wireless mouse are wired 1,000 million bajillion quadrupletillion percent wireless mouse. there. 
Why is there a raider there? Please no. And they definitely said that you'd be able to bring stuff from Arena to main Tarkov. It's possible that like, you know, he doesn't speak very good English, so what he said, he didn't actually mean it that way, but he definitely said the same thing on multiple occasions. Clean said it's skills. Well, that's honestly even worse in my book. If you can bring your skills from main Tarkov to Arena, that's literally even worse than gear. Or potentially, it's at least equally as bad. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> well, I don't get like why it has to be linked. Like, okay, bring like your cosmetics or whatever. Fine. That, that's totally fine. But like, why skills? Why skills and gear and all this? Like, why why is that even in the conversation? It's not fair slash balance for me. I don't really know what your take is, but I think I think there's multiple arguments for why they should be totally separate things. I think one straight up from like like a good developer like business practice standpoint i don't think it's fair that you charge money for a game arena will not be free unless you own eod edition i don't think it's fair for a, a game company to provide an in-game benefit to players for spending money when they already purchased the original game it's not like it's a free-to-play game so i one, I disagree with any, like, no matter how minuscule it is or whatever, I disagree with it wholeheartedly on that fact alone. I don't think that that's fair business practice. I, I don't support moves like that from game companies. And also, I just think that, like, there's, like, probably a ton of balancing issues and, like, all types of abuse that could open up with, like, allowing like gear and loot and skills and stuff to like transfer between the two games but i think literally just most people from the standpoint of like being a good company and like being fair to consumers i, I don't agree with that at, at all yod funded the game uh i doubt it i don't think so and you could offer like like cool special editions without giving like gameplay benefits I, again I, I don't think that that's a fair thing you should not get gameplay benefits of any sort for spending additional money I, I don't I don't like that in games cosmetic stuff cool like collectible things sick awesome gameplay changes and benefits not cool Thank you. Oh, I wasn't even on full auto there. <laughs> 17 I'm glad I one tapped him in the head because <laughs> that thing was not on full auto. <laughs> Bozo. Run away. Run away. I mean, like, like, look at that. I clearly didn't know the fucking guy was there. You shot at me first. 
and then I just shot him in the face. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Radar. <laughs> Templar, thank you for the 29 months. Oh, the impact little bitch rat motherfucker. Get shit on, bitch. Yeah. Impact grenades and KS 23s. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Dude, I opened that door and aim right there. So much waiting for this moment. And I just smoked this dude. People and like you've really helped me farming raiders for XP so isn't really a good thing a anymore. And you also can't get lab key cards. That Tony has the best content not only on Twitch but also YouTube. Thanks, Star Guy. Thank you, Domino. You can only really get lab key cards if you get them from leveling up your traders, killing um, bosses they never dropped them anymore you used to always get lab whenever you killed a boss you used to basically get a labs key card and you can't sell them on the flea market anymore so like there's just not there's not a lot of reasons for people to go and usually when you do go to labs it's rgb gamer central Look, labs used to be the only place in the game to go and kill raiders. There's raiders and like good loot on AI all over now. You know, there's just there's not as much incentive to go there. You can get better loot on other maps with no risk. Like labs used to be like the place to get lead axe. Used to go in green room and grab stims out the wazoo. Red room used to used to go in red room and get like a couple hundred k worth of loot every single time. You you go into green room on labs and fill up like an entire backpack with stims. Barco, thank you for the prime. You'd go into red room, Bitcoin, lions, like shit everywhere. I mean, shit, that was basically Tar Tarkov streams were pretty much labs only. Like, you on Tarkov on Twitch, it was just labs, like, gaming nonstop. It was like, dude, labs was literally like nine PMC kill raids, like, every single time. It was insane. It was so much fun. I mean, it definitely had its issues, but like it was certainly more fun to play than it is now. I think, I think found find and raid loot really hurt that map a lot. I think it's the combo of nerfing loot in the key rooms and then f um, making loot found uh, flea market find and raid only. I think that's what really did it in. killed the game I don't I don't think so I think the game might be a little more fun to play if we went back to found or like flea markets open I think the one thing though that was definitely an issue was buying stuff from traders and reselling it on the flea people would just buy out everything and then list it on the market and it was really annoying and like early wipe I guess the flea market was a little excessive. It like sped up the early game way too much. Oh, there goes two casual players. Sorry guys. casual player base this guy was actually swagging out for level five ah dude new players definitely care about flea bends and dude with flea market and, and level two traders can't buy 
ammo that pens level four and I'm out here with 8,000 rounds of M62 in my stash. <laughs> it definitely matters. And like, if you are gonna do all those flea bans, do them on day one of the wipe. They're like, they banned a, or like adjusted a bunch of like really important ammos like well after the wipe happened. Like they moved M80 and BT. Which are like crucial early game ammos. They did it like weeks after the game wiped. PS and match FMJ. Yeah, but like I, they those are like usable ammos, but let's be real, they don't compete with like the better versions of them at all. You know? Like, yeah, you can kill people with those, but it's not ideal in any way. They're good against, like, lower tier armors and stuff, but... BP is just straight up, like, leagues better than PS ammo. And so is 45 AP than FM match FMJ. PS can two-shot level four if you get lucky. I believe you need... You need to roll a 50% chance pen on the first hit, and then probably like a some other percent chance pen on the next hit. It it can happen, but it's it's there's definitely a luck random element to it. It's like PS ammo won't always kill to the head. Through a level 4 helmet, which is like really important for ammo to do in this game. What is your favorite day MR setup? I like to run the G28 with the Razor HD scope. SR25 with the Razor. I think the SR25 is the best DMR in the game at the moment. G28 is cool and all, but it's really expensive and it's not as good. <laughs> Level 37! Timmy's to leg meta. I mean, like, leg meta is, it's a strategy, but it's not, like, super optimal. Like, even if you have the, like, best guns and ammo to shoot people in the legs, it's still not, like, super, super effective. It's not, like, very competitive, at least. It'll kill people if you catch them off guard, but, like, a head-on fight with a good player, leg meta's not really all that great. It's only called leg meta because it back in the day the game had no face hitboxes. So when people were running the best armor setup in the game, which was the Zabralo armor and the Kiver helmet, the literal fastest way to kill them, like by a mile, was to shoot them in the legs. Because you could shoot the guy in the head like six times and he wouldn't die, and you could shoot him like 30 times in the chest and the arms and he wouldn't die. So it was literally leg meta back then, but it's not, it's just like a name that's carried over now from back in the day. Like it, it was actually like the meta strategy and like now it's, it's a strategy that'll kill people like going for leg shots, but it's not like, it's not the most efficient tactic by any means in my book. The nerf shotguns? I disagree. Dude, uh, everyone complains that shotguns are OP now, but like... They used to suck! Shotguns used to be so f***ing bad in this game. Nobody ever used them. Unless it was with AP20. AP20 used to be a lot better. But like, bro, nobody used shotguns. Ghost! Thank you, bro. You should be using flechette ammo and a 153 shotgun. 
4155. <sighs> the name for the head. I like kind of closer ranges. It's definitely the move for shotguns. And if you don't have flechette, probably magnum buckshot to the legs. Or try to unlock flechette before you do the quest. Or buy from the flea. You can buy flechette on the flea. It's like kind of expensive, but it's worth it. Rip rounds. Uh, theoretically, rip rounds are good, but in practice, it becomes way too hard to like reliably hit the same leg with slugs, and you're better off just spamming with buckshot. It's way more effective. Well, I Hello. That man got the one three tree. Slow Zeely. Ah. This guy got smoked, dude. Looks like a tempo, though. Yeah. Yeah, you a little bit of a tempo right there. Sorry, brother. Limbs in one use. Afax and Ifax can't. What? Oh, that broke my legs. Because I'm overweight. White boy landmark, goated with the sauce. Busting it down Opatsky <clears throat> style. Yep, I'm over here, bud. GG's. Thank you, Lemon. Thank you, Envy. Sixty twos? The fuck? The hell? I I just popped him twice with M sixty twos. My ears hurt now. Thank <laughs> you. 